yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. All right, so I just cut you guys off the last video. It's now time to work on this cradle, swap some spindles, put in some new studs, and throw on those beautiful weld racing wheels I got from Carlisle Racing. Shouldn't be that bad of work, but uh, let's get right into it. I really don't know what I'm doing with these here coilovers, but I'm gonna follow the directions. All right, so both calipers are off, axles are out, and uh, we're kind of ready to start disassembling a little bit more. I am replacing the studs on both sides, and uh, like I've mentioned like 10 times the spindle, so haven't really taken apart ball joints and stuff before, but it's not too bad. I did put together the coilovers already, so I'll pull this off as well, and that shock, and then this leaf spring, and uh, we'll start reassembling with the new parts. All right, so I've got both spindles and uh, hubs disconnected from the cradle. Now it's just a matter of pulling these three bolts off the back here, and then I'll be able to pound out these studs and replace them with the longer, stronger ARP bolts that we have. So now to knock these out, shouldn't be difficult at all. Just give them a couple good pounds, they'll fall right out. That was a lot easier than I expected, but uh, now I gotta put the other ones in. I'm pretty sure you can just put the stud in and then tighten down a, uh, a nut on it and it'll pull it through. All right guys, I gotta level with you here. For about the past 30 minutes, I have been trying my hardest to get these studs in. It's been a painful process. I had the air hammer out. I ruined two lug nuts, freaking air impacting it down onto the stud. And then Laz reminded me that there is a press here. And I can't even tell you how freaking easy it is using the press. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's like pulling the e-brake in your car for the first time in your life. It is an exhilarating, that, that's, Man. All right, so the studs are in. I'm gonna call on a night. Get back at this tomorrow and finish it up. Shouldn't be too much longer. All right, jump forward a day there, but after a long day of classes, it is officially midnight and I am just starting back on Leroy. And I have Kayla to help me out. So we got to add transmission fluid, diff fluid, and then button that up. Then we got to put the cradle on. Got a whole bunch of stuff to do with the spindles and brakes still. And uh, we just got to get right into it. and. Get her done. All right, so this is a factory spindle and this is the Carlisle Racing Spindle. You can see overall it's quite a bit shorter and that's what allows the uh, 15 inch wheel to fit onto the hub. So those are the old doggers. They have seen a couple of uh, second, third gear burnouts, maybe a sixth gear burnout here or there. And these are the new rotors. Glad to have some uh, upgraded brakes. Makes me feel a little bit better. And those were really shot, they were, um, they're pretty jacked up, so these are going to be really nice to have, and uh, especially with the new Carlisle Racing calipers and pads and everything, so should make Leroy stop a little bit better. Alright, so I've got the cradle pretty much completely stripped, the shocks are off, the leaf spring is off. And I'm gonna put it up in the car while it's light like this because there's no one really around to help but Kayla. And if you've done a rear cradle before, you know they're pretty heavy. So I'm gonna put it up in the car and then start putting it back together. All right, so check it out. The new spindles are on. The new coilovers are on and uh, it's all looking pretty good. The new studs are on as well. I'm actually going to be sticking with the stock brakes. I was talking about upgrading but I forgot to pick up a part on my way to the shop today and since it's already so late I just want to keep the ball rolling so I'm going to put the stock brakes back on. 
I do have to do some grinding down here, get these uh, casting marks off and uh, you know, just shave away some extra metal so that the 15s will clear. I'm gonna get started on that here in just a minute once I finish up the other side and uh, we'll go from there. Just realized that I pulled a classic noob mistake and I'm sure some of the viewers noticed. No axles in there yet, so uh, gonna need those. I'm gonna pop this top ball joint out on either side, throw the axles back in real quick. So yet another roadblock. Uh, this is all part of racing right here. Um, Ran into quite a few roadblocks tonight and I've been fighting through them, but uh, this one is kind of tough. I thought I could put the stock brakes back on uh, with this new spindle, but as you can see, the caliper is mounted on that new spindle and yeah, it's sticking out a lot further. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to run the, uh, the new calipers and the new rotors. That's gonna be the only way I'll be able to finish Leroy in time for SCT Charlotte without having to return it to stock. I would hate to do that. Oh my gosh, all right. It's been about freaking two hours since my last post. It's literally five o'clock in the morning and I have just figured out how these brakes are gonna work. I had to shim them about six different times to find the right fit that they're just centered on the rotor. Made my own shims, was grinding them down and stuff. It was, it's come together though. And uh, here's a little sneak preview. Yeah, it's moving nice and freely in there. I do have these on just because I was test fitting and I had them on and off quite a few times. But those brakes look beautiful in there and uh, time to do the other side. Man, that was a freaking piece of work. I've never done brakes before and that was a pain. Feels darn good to have the Murica man's mission back in Leroy. I'm gonna start him up real quick and just put it in gear and uh, make sure it rolls forward. Brake pedal feels pretty weird. I definitely gotta bleed the brakes. Sweet. Oh nice, e-brake still feels tight, heck yeah. That was a battle and a half and it's not over yet. I haven't even grinded down the spindles. Time to get to that. I still have to adjust the coilovers as well. So I gotta set the car down on the ground, see what the coilovers look like, raise them up and down and uh, that's a whole nother project in and of itself. But uh, I'm gonna keep going strong until the guys show up here in the morning and start working and uh, hopefully I haven't finished by then. Talk about a tight freaking fit. The brake hardly clears. I would have had to grind the heck out of the stock ones, so now I'm glad I changed them. And then back here, you can see that's where that, uh, that lower control arm gets really close to the wheel. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to do some grinding on that, but uh, I'm gonna bolt this on and lower the car and see what it looks like. But that wheel looks so freaking sexy. Hold, oh, hold, hold on. Let me back up. Damn, damn, oh, I'm tired. And that's just sexy as hell. Oh, man, that'll, that'll rally up. That is sick. Oh my good golly gracious. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh man, now I can't wait to see it on the ground. It's so freaking late, so freaking late, but I had to do a live feed because I just put those wheels on and they look so good. And I had to get the Instagram people, the 5 a.m. live feeders, what is up? They're on here and uh, doing it for Dale. All right, he's coming down for the first time with the new suspension and everything. I think things are about to get a little weird. Well, we know where we're gonna be grinding. You guys see how close that is to the wheel? I don't want that scratching up my new fancy schwiels, so time to do some grinding.
All right, so the clearance over here is looking much better for the wheel. Time to get kicking on this side. Going like right here and cutting down, kind of making a little hoop. I also just went ahead and put the front on and it looks so sick. And these work perfect. No need for spacers, no brakes, no studs, no nothing. Bolt them on and you are good to go. I'm so ready to be done with this. So ready. And I am really excited for Streetcar Takeover Charlotte now because Leroy's looking good. It's ready to roll. All right, status update 99. Leroy is completely finished. We bled the brakes. I'm heading home right now to clean up and grab some of our merchandise. And then I'm gonna roll back out there. I'll show you guys Leroy out in the sun. And then uh, I'm gonna put actually another set of wheels on him, load him up in the trailer and head to Charlotte. So stand by, you are gonna see the wheels here in just one second. Oh, we got a little bit of a debacle going on in here. Before I roll out, I'm gonna pull the C7 out, put the quick jacks down, pull it back on, raise it up and pull its wheels and tires off. I'm gonna throw those on Leroy for the trailering and street driving that we'll be doing in Charlotte. I don't wanna mess up my new drag tires and since I've ruined um, you know, pretty much every other set of tires I have on the other C7 wheels, we're gonna just grab these for the weekend. So freaking easy to put this thing up on the jacks. Takes like, hold a button, raises the car like butter. All right, so I'm back at Jeremy's. They have the car pushed outside and damn, is it good to see Leroy on a 15 inch wheel. He looks sick. I think you guys are gonna really like it. It's unfortunate I have to take them off right now because I'm putting on the street tires, but check this out, it looks great. Ah, so freaking meaty. These are only 26s, but they're still so freaking meaty and I love that weld wheel, that weld Vitesse, oh man. Oh Lord, the skinnies up front is a little weird. It's gonna take some getting used to, but uh, man, it just looks sick. It just looks sick. Dude, oh yes. Finally gonna get to use this parachute this weekend, I think. You're required to have a parachute over 150 miles an hour. I'm hoping to go 150 plus this weekend, but man, I'm excited to use those. I think we're gonna have a lot more success with this nice big drag tire as well as the suspension. The coilover should really help with weight transfer and setting down what little weight is on Leroy's back end right onto that big tire. Hopefully we can get him dialed in at Streetcar Takeover Charlotte. I'm really looking forward to breaking Leroy's record and making some insane passes. If you've never been to Streetcar Takeover before, it starts on Friday, we do a night meet. And then on Saturday we race. So Friday will be at Twin Peaks and Concord. Saturday will be at Z-Max Dragway. That's gonna be all for now, guys. I'm gonna switch out these wheels, load up Leroy, and start driving to Charlotte, North Carolina. You know the drill. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale, and we will see you later. Well, dang. Hope you enjoyed your time on the Cletus McFarlane YouTube channel. Check out some of our t-shirts. We've got the Do It For Dale t-shirt, the Do It For America t-shirt, and of course the Twin Turbskies t-shirt, all of which can be found in the link in the description below. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe and check out this video that we posted earlier this week.